on that. Next is your thrift store. A lot of us have different things in our homes that we haven't used in years, whether it's, you know, your kids have outgrown it or you haven't just used it or it's a different season. It was summer stuff and now it's winter. Uh, it's an older VCR. It's an older TV. It's an older game that you're not using anymore. There's a lot of websites. There's OfferUp.com. There's Facebook Marketplace and there's Craigslist. Post your products and make a money, make some money out of it. So you can always go to OfferUp. You can always go to Facebook. You can always go to Craigslist, list something, and somebody will come and pick it up. So you don't even have to leave the house. A uh, couple of points is if you're new to those three, just be a little bit more cautious because not every person is genuine. Uh, secondly, I recommend not selling it in, in, inside your living room. You know, just have it a little bit, a couple of steps away from your home or uh, a couple of blocks out if you're selling something that's valuable and make sure it's not dark and secure as well. Again, that might be less than 1%, but better safe than sorry. But another thing that people do is people that sell and buy a lot online have an idea of the, what the price is. So for example, I go on online and I know the value of this phone is $500. So what do I do? I can go and offer up itself and look at the different cities next to me. There's another city five miles or 10 miles from where I live. You know, this, they want to sell that for $300. I know if I put it on offer up itself, it's $500. So I can go drive a couple of miles down, buy it for $300, come back on offer up and sell it for $500. I actually know people that make a living by buying off offer up and marketplace and selling back on offer up and marketplace as well. Of course, you can post on all three and whatever else is in your city.